We present MeshFlow, an interactive system to visualize mesh construction sequences. These sequences are recorded when the mesh is built by instrumenting existing modeling software. We focus on modeling single polygonal objects. For the simple models shown here, modeling time took between 2.5 and 10 hours, accounting for 4,600 to 14,000 operations performed by the modeler. Our visualization interface includes a large view of the mesh, a timeline, and thumbnail views of the mesh at different places along the timeline. In its simplest form, the visualization system plays back every operation made by the modeler, similar to a video, except the viewer can control the camera. When played back with speed, the details are still present, but it is still difficult to get an overview of what the modeler is doing. For an overview of the edits, we cluster operations from the sequence into groups. These clusters concisely visualize high-level changes to the mesh. We overlay automatic graphical annotations on the geometry to indicate the type of operations that were performed at each step. With the operation clustering, we see the mesh entire sequence in about 30 seconds. In this example, we show an extruded edge. Orange indicates parts selected by the modeler. Then, the green edges and faces indicate geometry that was created with yellow arrows showing the direction that these edges were extruded. The most significant advantage of our system compared to traditional recordings comes from the use of interactive level of detail through hierarchical clustering of the modeler operations. By changing the level of detail, a user can choose to see a summary overview of the editing process, or get details on demand. We explain a hierarchical clustering system in the paper, including 11 automatic levels of detail. We achieve clustering by defining a system of regular expressions based on data analysis. We also provide the ability to interactively filter out operations from the timeline. We can filter by types of operations, such as removing selection operations, or filtering camera changes. Notice the areas of the timeline have been darkened. This gives a visual indication of the density of certain operations. The darkened areas are also unviewable, which focuses playback on relevant data. A painting system allows highlighting areas of interest on the mesh. The timeline can be filtered to show only the operations that affect the highlighted vertices. This can be useful when focusing on the construction of a specific area without having to search as you would in a video, potentially missing information. We now show four example models visualized by our system. And finally, a more complicated model constructed in 9 hours 40 minutes. Thank you for your attention.